At this place in history, we're on Route 100, just below Stowe. I'm with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. And Steve, we're on our way to one of the most beautiful, most popular places in Vermont. Yes, we are going to go drive through Smuggler's Notch. And it's kind of odd, we're sitting here next to the highway, but I think the sign is pointing us in the right direction. We're going to follow this historic road that was a railroad, and then a carriage road, and now one for cars. So let's hop in and take off. All right. All right, we made it. We we're did. in the notch. <laughs> so this area is so rich in history. Where do we even begin? I, I don't even know where to begin. But I mean, right now we're standing at the, the top of the notch. You know, if we fell down to our left, we'd roll down to Winooski River Valley. And if we <laughs> fell down to our right, we'd roll down to the Lamoille River Valley. But, you know, I think we can start with, you know, what is a notch? Mm -hmm. So a notch is a way through the mountains. And there's a lot of them in Vermont. It got its name going way back to the time of Thomas Jefferson, right, our president back in 1807. And he said, we're not going to import goods from England, you know, because they're causing problems. This all mm -hmm. led up to the War of 1812. Well, Vermont traded with Canada more than they traded with anyone else. So there was a really rich tradition of smuggling through Vermont from about 1807 until 1812 when the war started. What were they smuggling? Oh, they were smuggling everything from, um, you know, rum, which came up from the Caribbean, and we were then trading up to Canada, to lace, to cloth to paper, um, you know, just kind of the goods you needed for everyday living. Most of this came from Europe and, um, you know, the, the settlers in Vermont needed it. So as you can see from all these boulders here, I mean, this is a great place to hide. So I think this is where a lot of the stories started to come about that smugglers and pirates and everything else came to this notch and they hid all of their items in caves. And so treasure hunters even to today still come and search this area for treasure. So how did they get across? Were they just hiking they and did, hoping yeah, it? They hiked. There, there's stories about cattle being driven through this notch, but we're pretty sure this notch was too rugged to do cattle. They were carrying it through on their backs, maybe with like a horse or, or donkey or something like that to get it through. It did didn't get a road until the late 19th century. Victorians would want to come up, they'd take the train up to Stowe and they'd want to come through the notch. So you started out with a footpath and then it became this little carriage road. Uh, and then eventually by 1921, the state put in the highway, this Route 108. And it really hasn't changed much since 1921. It's pretty narrow at the top and this road closes in the winter. It's not plowed, so you have to come up in the summer or the fall. Unless you have a snowshoe. Snow, yeah, right. You can hike it. You can always hike it. <laughs> Why do people come up here? They come up here for the hiking and in the winter, the skiing. But you can see some really cool things, like really huge boulders. We saw some of those as we came up, and a lot of them have names named after famous people who found them. And then right in the notch itself, there's some neat rock formations. So um, there's the hunter and his dog, which is right above us up here. And then on the opposite side is the elephant head. It's called elephant head. It lost its trunk in the 1960s. Oh, no. See, what am I looking at? We're looking at the Big Spring, and that's what the sign says, Big Spring. But it used to be called the Mammoth Spring, so obviously expectations have come back a bit. There was a lot of development right around here, so a lot of tourist-based uh, buildings, and they even bottled this water and sold it for a while. Like we've been talking about, history is made up of a lot of stories. Many aren't true. This one probably isn't. There was this uh, smuggler chief and he actually went on the Black Snake, which is a famous boat in, in Lake Champlain. And he had all of his treasure and he kept it up in a cave on the side of Smuggler's Notch. And this cave had a big spring in it, so they had water, they had shelter, and they could hide from these revenuers. Well, the revenuers eventually found them. There was like a damsel in distress. There was a kidnapping, all sorts of stuff involved. But the revenuers found them. They holed up in the cave, which was supposed to be right here. The revenuers, because they couldn't get them out, took a whole barrel of gunpowder, they put it in front of the cave entrance, and they set it off. The mountainside came down, it buried the smugglers, so the revenuers defeated the smugglers, the spring ended up coming through the rubble. So supposedly, there's a whole gang of smugglers buried in this hillside behind us. Sounds so. like the plot of a movie. Maybe we should make it. Smugglers, pirates, revenuers, tourists, and automobiles at Smuggler's Notch at this place in history.